Today in this video, we are going to learn what is 8 pin timer. We are also going to discuss about the working and how this timer can be used with electrical applications. You must have seen this type of relay in industries. It is known as electromechanical relay. The only difference between relay and timer is that relay generates output command continuously when power is supplied to the coil. But in case of timer, when power is supplied to coil, it generates output command for specific time only. The timer which I have now is manufactured by CNC company and its model number is ST3P. If you want to use this timer along with electrical applications, then it can be programmed from 0 to 6 minutes. This means you can say that it is a multi-range timer. To select time range for programming, you have to open this cover. After this, remove this plate. You can see two different plates are provided and in both the plates, there are four different time range. In first plate, time range is 0 to 1 second and in second plate, time range is 0 to 10 seconds. Third plate range is 0 to 60 second and in last plate, range is 0 to 6 minute. Which time range is required for your application, you can select. To select time range, a dip switch is provided here. You can find four positions in this dip switch. Suppose you want to set time range as 0 to 10 second. You can see 1 and 4 is written here. According to this only, dip switch position is selected. I am selecting 1 and 4 position of this dip switch. Suppose if you want time range between 0 to 60 second, you can see 2 and 3 is written here. Then you have to select position as 2 and 3 in dip switch. The time range which you have selected, keep that plate at the top. Place the cover back to its position. By rotating this cover, you can set the time according to your need. We completely learned how to program the time in this timer. Along with this timer, you have to use a base for connection of timer. Before performing the connections, you must know about the specifications of timer. To operate this timer, we need 220 to 250 volt AC power supply to the coil of this timer. If you want to connect a load directly with this timer, then the current rating of the load must not exceed 3 ampere. If you want to connect a heavy load, then you can use contactor. If you want to connect a load with this timer, then follow the circuit diagram of this timer. It is mentioned in this diagram that 2 and 7 number terminal is to provide power supply to coil. You will find two relay output in this timer in which common terminals are 1 and 8. NO contact is 3 and 6. NC contact is 4 and 5. Suppose you have a lamp and you want to operate for a specific time, then you have to use NO contact of this timer. If you want your load to be in off condition for a specific time, then you have to use NC contact of this timer. You will find two indications in this timer. The all indication glows when power is supplied to the coil. Up indication glows when timer countdown is completed. This type of timer can be used where you want to operate a load for a specific time. Like if you want to turn on your water pump and after 30 minutes it must be turned off automatically, then you can use this timer. Similarly, in your homes as well as industries, you can use this timer for various purposes. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching this video.